Welcome back. Happy Friday morning. A Castroville teen has turned his passion of beekeeping into a successful business called Bee Space. Trent Anderson, who's just 16 years old, owns a small pop up store that sells honey and also has up to 100 beehives that pollinate farmland all over the country. Sarah Costa spoke with Trent about his passion and why we should all care about these bees. I found a, some old boxes. My grandfather used to keep bees in, in the 1980s. When Trent Anderson was 13, he cleaned up those bee boxes and built his first beehive. It just kind of snowballed from there. It snowballed into a full-fledged beekeeping, bee removal, and honey business called Bee Space. Trent says he worked for other beekeepers, has done an extensive amount of research on bees, and networks with beekeepers across the country online. He now owns about 100 hives and takes his bees across the country to pollinate almond and orange farms. Bee Space it started as a table selling honey on the side of the highway. Now, two years later, Trent says there's some days where he sells out of his local honey. But it's not just about the business for Trent. He says he wanted to do something that makes an impact. He believes bees are important to biodiversity and are responsible for the variety of food that ends up on our plate. There's a lot of foods that rely on on bees, but then also I think roughly 95% of wild plants rely on pollination from bees. He says the narrative on bees dying out has either been too extreme or not pushed enough. He says bees are dying out because of habitat loss, less native flowering plants, and pesticide use. And I don't think this is like a doomsday scenario. I think it's just a pretty dull and uninspiring world to live in. I don't, and I don't think everything would come crashing down, but you know, an ecosystem, uh, of just monocultures propagated by farmers. That's a pretty depressing world, I think. Trent hopes to have 1,000 hives in two years. His goal is to take that money earned through bee space and fund a reforestation project to better the environment. He says change is important, but that narrative of how we change is just as crucial. I don't like to demonize the old farmer too, because they're, they're who taught me and they were my you know, those were my mentors. Um, they were important. They are, they are still very important. They produce our, our food supply. But I do believe that there's a momentum to find more efficient and better, better ways of doing things. Sarah Costa, KSAT 12 News.